and it's rolling. Greetings, Bearcats, and welcome back to Bearcat TV, the weekly news show specifically designed to help keep middle school students firmly in the know. My name is Mr. Blake, and I am your host. <laughs> Let me be the sunlight to your chlorophyll as we photosynthesize this week's breaking middle school news. <sighs> and poor chlorophyll is caught in the middle of this. Chlorophyll? More like borophyll. Right? <clears throat> Today is Monday, April 4th, and on this week's BR Cat TV hit list, we have the Calendar Overview for April. A BYOC reminder for Eco Council and a special service council announcement. Let's dive right in. We're diving in now. As we launch into April, April, let's take a look at what's in store for week four. I mean, <laughs> I just want to make a rhyme. What's in store for the next four weeks? This week, we continue to have two student-driven initiatives taking place. That would be the mask lanyard sale for Boracay beach workers, organized by Micah in grade seven, and the supply drive for the UpSkills Foundation, or OopSkills, depending where you're from. Please do what you can to support these two worthy causes. Next week, we have something that everyone will be ecstatic about. Turtles in a pond, you say? Diving in now. Oh, no, those look like vicious turtle killers right there. <laughs> no? <laughs> Not that? Huh. I guess it's just the full week of vacation. We still get those? Yeah. Eh. You lucky ducks. Well, whatever your plans are, we hope you have fun and that you stay safe. When we return to school after the Easter break, after cracking all them eggs, we will celebrate Earth Week. That's right, people, fresh air. Love you, Earth. So please be ready for some thoughtful advisory conversations and activities that will help consider what we can all do to help take care of our planet. I plan to knit it a hat. <laughs> Keeping you nice and warm. Don't want global warming? Oh, no hat. The final week of April is going to be relatively low-key. Please note that while the ISM calendar states that the student-led conferences will take place on Monday, April 25th with an early release, this event has been canceled. Booyah! Wait, just this in. This will now be a regular school day. Oh, can't win them all. Next up, we have a special announcement for all you good folks from Eco Council about ISM's BYOC program. If you don't know what that it is, and I don't, then be sure to listen up. Take it away, Yume. I'm listening. Hey, everyone. My name is Yume. I'm one of the presidents of Eco Council, and I'm here to talk about our school wide priority of sustainability. In recognition of our responsibilities as citizens of the world, Bearcats, both adults and students, will commit to playing an active part in caring for the environment, on campus and beyond. One goal that we are working on is Equal Schools Accreditation. Another, less measurable but more important, is for this work to be habit-forming and life-changing in the ISM community. Today, I'd like to focus on the Bring Your Own Container program, which is also known as BYOC. But that C doesn't only stand for containers. C also stands for cups and cutlery. The Bring Your Own Cup, Container, and Cutlery policy is easy. Bringing your own cup is just bringing your own water bottle. Bringing your own container is packing or purchasing your food in a sustainable food holder. And bringing your own cutlery is packing reusable forks, spoons, and chopsticks. Whether you pack your lunch, purchase from Grab and Go, or a vendor, you can BYOC. This simple act will severely reduce our waste as a school, which can do a lot for the environment. Our goal with the BYOC program is to create and throw away as little trash as possible. But what do we do when we happen to have trash? We can still help out by sorting our waste into the correct bins. 
That means keeping food and non-organic items separate. Remember, food only means food only. This food can then be composted rather than go into landfill, but only if it's not contaminated with plastic waste. Separating our waste also means returning any glass bottles back to the vendor where they were purchased. Thanks so much, everyone. Remember, be here, be you, belong. BYOC, Bearcats. Back to you, Mr. Blake. Thank you, Yume. I didn't know that the C stood for so many things. Container, cup, cutlery, schedule. Schedule. Ske ooh, ooh. I think I got it. Finally, we have a special student announcement from members of Middle School Service Council about a fundraiser to support UpSkills Foundation. Over to you, Bearcats. Happy Monday, Bearcats. I'm Sophia from Service Council, and we are launching a donation drive for UpSkills Foundation starting after the break from April 18th until April 29th. UpSkills Foundation is an organization that helps students without the resources to have access to quality education. They're also one of ISM's service partners. In both the October and February service days, the sixth graders worked with UpSkills to learn more about their livelihood projects and their daily lives. However, with this donation drive, it will not only be the sixth graders that will help students from UpSkills, but also the entire middle school. In this donation drive, the items needed are school supplies, clothing, and non-perishable food items, such as earphones, cell phone stand or holder, manila paper, calculators, bond paper, specifically A4, oil pastels, tape, permanent markers, whiteboard markers, yellow pad papers, plastic envelopes, non-perishable food items such as canned foods, noodles, rice, oil, etc., and also clothes of all kinds, but especially for babies and children. The drive will start as soon as we return from break on April 18th. So if you dive into your spring cleaning during the break, please set aside any items you would like to donate to UpSkills when we return to school. Be sure to bring your school supplies, clothing, and non-perishable food items on Monday, April 18th. Thanks, Bearcats. Back to you, Mr. Blake. Thanks, Sophia. Excellent reporting. Next time, can we include something about tacos? <laughs> well, that's a wrap for this week. Tune in next week for more PR Cat TV updates. And remember, be here, be you, belong. PR Cats. Stay classy, middle school, and have a wonderful week. <laughs>